Hey guys, welcome back to Rear 2 here today with a video. Today we're checking out Astria Six Sided Oracles. This is uh, another game in the Next Fest demos we're going to be checking out today. Um, I believe it is like a sort of roguelike deck builder type vibe, which I do love these games. We only have one class to choose from. We got Mooney, the Astral Disciple. Uh, yep, they got a bunch of lore. I'm not sure how the game plays or what it's all about, but I know the art is interesting. It's kind of what made me check it out. So, we're doing it. Let's draw a dice. Oh yeah, it's a dice-based deck. It's like a deck builder, but there's dice as well. Double the gambling, which is like my favorite thing. This is your dice hand. You need to use these two dice to purify your enemies back to normal. Uh, they also roll dice. They roll the same dice each turn. After you play all your actions, enemies will act with the action that they rolled. All right, all right, all right. Purifying corrupt. Yep, yep, yep. Purify decreases corruption. It means that it will damage enemies and heal yourself. Corruption is the opposite. Increases corruption, meaning it heals enemies and damages yourself. Therefore, you must use all corrupt actions before you end your turn. It's the enemy corruption meter. It starts fully filled. Oh my lord! I need a, I need to like have a college degree to get this. I also have a corruption meter. It starts fully filled with purification. Yep, yep, yep. If, I, if it gets filled with corruption, I lose a heart. If I lose my hearts, I die. Let's try a purifier. Okay, things are happening, I will say. Am I just doing... Oh, I see. S maybe? Do I see? <laughs> Let's sit myself with two. And then purify this guy. And then heal myself too. And then I guess heal him one. So overall, I minused him two. And he's gonna minus me one. Or heal himself. Uh, and then I have. Yep. That's my turn. I hurt him too. If that was right, who knows? I got my dice. Oh, I'm rolling. Kinda wish there was a button to roll, I'm not gonna lie. Deal one corruption to all targets. Okay, we're both. But now, heal both targets. Oh, this one is only for myself. And then that one, I can hurt him, three. And now I can save the blue die. Okay, we're good, we're good. We didn't need to use the blue die. So now I could pull it back out. I'm rolling. Okay, I have to do the red stuff, so I have to do... Or I could just win, probably. I presume I could just win. Let's heal myself and hurt him. And now I win. Oh! Too late. He's resisting my purification. He's getting stronger. All enemies have an overcorruption meter. When they receive corruption, they get healed, but their overcorruption also increases. So the enemy's meter gets fully filled. They'll get an overcorrupted act with action attached to it, doing three damage. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you have the power to uh, attach to it. Uh, as I corruption increases, uh, the virtue is played. Ah, uh, there's so much happening. Good lord. Uh, what are we rolling? Anything good? These are horrible. Let's see. Two to all. He's slowly... This should finish him off, right? Okay. He's beautiful little good man now. Not quite as tight as some of these other deck building sort of roguelikes I've played. Oh, this is a full run here. Alright. So... Two... Too balanced, too safe, too risky. Let's do balance. Oh, I gotta start with the normal battle. Okay, we're starting a run now. That looks like a really long run. A re starter die, re-roll a die. So this is where I can look at the different sides of the die. That's kind of... Okay, I see. This one's like got a 50-50 of being shit. Convert one die from your hand until the end of enemy's turn. Change a die with any type of corrupt action to pure action at the same time. So I could do that one. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. So let's hurt ourselves for three. Uh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. 
We roll a die. Oh, I see, and I can pick pick a die. I don't really want to re-roll a die. That. I don't really need to, to be honest. I'm just, uh... I've got nothing to re-roll. End turn. I guess I could have re-rolled that die. He's overcorrupted. He's hitting me for three. Bastard man. I'm really, I'm really getting... The gears are turning. Fighting this sentinel. So... We want to... Apply one light shield to a target. Deal with da, da, da. Okay... Let's do that. Seems kind of broken. We're back to full health. We're blasting him. Let's reroll that die, because there seems to be a lot of better options here. There we go. That one... I'm not going to risk it. Don't think I need to do that on myself, actually. I was already full health. Okay, I blocked a damage. We're doing good. He, what's he rolling? He's rolled a two. So he's going to hit us for three this turn, for sure. Enhancement die from any target until the end of enemy's turn. Increase the die with any type of action. I can enhance the die. Enhance that die. Oh my lord. To six? That's crazy. Should be able to do that. And that heal me six and damage him six. Which uh, seems like quite a lot. He's gonna hit us a bit here. He's gonna hit us a lot here, actually. Big whammy. Got absolutely blasted in the ass. We're gonna convert this bad die into a good die. Uh, we're going to... We're going to... Hurt him for four. I'm gonna draw a die. Uh, beautiful. Should really just kill him. I assume our health is fine. It doesn't matter from battle to battle. I assume we start full. Yeah, okay, we do. We did it. We can get two dice or star shards. We're gonna get dice, I guess. Oh no, we get both. We get all the things. Choose a die. Balanced neutral, risky neutral, safe neutral. So this one, you could get negative or you could get a huge positive. It's like a risky die for a gambling man. The middle one, there's like, they're better than, they're better, more better, more, more better than more, less better. And this one's always good. I think I'm gonna go for the slightly risky one. It's slightly more better. This one is not more better. Let's take this one. One safe one. And one little bit risky one. So now we can do it again. Let's do two safe die. Um. Holy. This is a lot of fucking stuff, man. Uh. We're gonna re-roll it because it's got a very high chance to be better. Oh, a big, big roll. Big five roll. That one's kind of always the same. Uh, enhance one die from any target into the da, 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 da. This one that buffs, buffs the thing. Big seven. Holy shit. We're in him for 12. He should be dead then. Got him. We're nuts. Now he's a good fish. Alright, I think I'm getting this game now. It's not as crazy as I thought. There is a lot to it though. So there's still like whether you want risky or less risky. I'm gonna get a safe one again. Spend star shards, acquire new sentinels, upgrade the ones you have. 
Spend star shards for your dice pool. Or gain star shards. Let's check out the forge. Oh, we can't because we went to the right. We have to go to one of these options. Uh, we can check out this. Alright, alright. Uh, sure, why not? Is this with- is this a person with me now? Things are happening. I've got a guy with me. Okay, we've got a- we've got a guy with us. Hard battle, normal battle. Let's try the hard battle, because I'm kind of petering out on this game. Three at once? Oh my lord, and this kid has five, damn- oh, there's so many things. Try and get rid of this big boy first. So we're dealing 12 to this guy. He's almost dead. I probably should have healed myself. So, oh no, they're still doing damage. They're just hiding what their role was. Oh, I might die then. No, I did. Okay, I thought they were skipping their turn. It doesn't, uh, it was not clear to me. I took a damage there, not good. I could have not took a damage easily. Change over hand and purify when I did uh my rolls are terrible. I couldn't even kill the goddamn game. Oh yeah we can, I lied. Apparently we're able to use these for some reason. Uh nothing I could do there. Alright. Just a couple boys left. We definitely could have done it without taking damage. I just wasn't aware of what was fucking going on. One doom. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage. And they're still hiding their, their move, which is rough. Really low rolls again. Holy Christ. Alright, next turn he'll die. We'll see how much we're going to get blasted this turn. Don't kill my guy. Don't kill my guy. Better not. Okay, they did my entire health bar in one turn. Okay, good. I got shit on. What are we rolling? Um, let's see. Five will kill this guy. Just got one bastard man left. Got an extra die. This is the stinky die. Stinky die. Uh, do, 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 do. do that. Hit this guy for four. Reroll this die again. Uh, Reroll this die again. We can't do it. We'll, uh, we'll heal this guy. Shield ourselves. We're slowly chipping away at this bastard. There we go. We lost two hearts on this. Uh, definitely could have only lost like one, but... Don't know what the hell we were doing. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff for doing a hard battle. Uh, this die looks very good. This one only has like ones. Ones aren't so bad. We're gonna take the middle one. Uh, those are always good too. Choose a star blessing. Whenever an enemy gets over corrupted, probably one straight to the enemy. At the end of a draw phase, you can reroll all dice. Start at each battle, refresh your virtues. I don't know what that is. We'll take this. I've got a star blessing, an item, basically. Do we want to destroy a die? Or we'll just take some shards. Spend shards to improve your dice pool. Choose two dice. You go over here to get a new item, or you get an epic die. Uh, let's see what the upgrading your dice thing looks like. Just to see, since we've seen most of everything, I think. Choose a die from your drop pool to draw and roll. If your drop was empty, dice from the special by your drop pool. Destroy a die. Shuffle items in the shop. Duplicate a non-epic die from my die pool. 
Deal 12 to any target. Choose a die from your discard to draw and roll. Deal 12 to any target? I can just buy that? Sure. Oh lord. What is happening now? What am I looking at? What the fuck am I looking at? Are these the die that I have and I'm putting this onto one of them? Uh, here. Oh, it's only going on on one side of one die. Are you kidding? I'm never going to see that. That was worth 150 for sure, for sure. We could get an epic die. Or we could get a star blessing. Let's get an epic die to see what it's like. How good can an epic die be? Plus, 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 plus. Uh, deal four dang target draw die. Five dang target draw die. And this one is convert up two dice from any target. Let's take the quick strike one. All right. Now we can heal back a heart, apparently, before the boss. Recover a heart. You can sacrifice heart to get an epic die. That's interesting. Boss battle, smoldering beast. The final challenge of the demo. Here we are, 60 fucking health, with a, uh, always draws a second die, and uh, applies five shadow mantle to its creature, which blocks purification till the end of my turn. Uh, yep, at the end of the, yep. A lot of stuff is happening here. Uh, so he's gonna block us by healing one every turn. He's also gonna hit us for two every turn and hit himself and all of us for two every turn Seems pretty fair if you ask me. Let's see how it works here. What he does. Oh my lord So he did two And he's just two to everybody So I take four and I have like minus one really because of the healing Blocks purification till the end of your turn Blocks one purification, I would imagine. I can still purify out. So, we're gonna put a shield on me. Gonna hit him for four. Four blocked. He still has four more to block? How do you kill this man? Five light shield to any target, add one wound X to any drop pool. Uh, Alright. So I have six shield at the moment. We're gonna heal our boy. We're going to heal ourselves, And we're gonna hit this boy. I did like one damage. Now he's gonna blast us all again. Right? Yep. Now he's gonna do more of the smoky shit on me. Yep. And he's doing a lot of Nonsense. A lot of shit is happening. I don't think there's a chance in hell I can beat this game. Now he's gonna just blast us again. And then he's gonna hit both of us for two and our guy's gonna die. No! My boy. Now he's getting stacked as well. Oh, that's our, that's our epic side out of our die and we didn't even hit it. That's the cracked side. Let's, let's try and hit the insane side. Nope. Uh, is this, which one's the one with the insane side? Alright, we're doing it. Oh, we hit the 12! Let's go! I thought we would never ever hit that. We're gonna draw a die as well. We hit something good there. Deal 5 to ourselves. Oh, light shield to me. Add a bad dice in though, but that's okay. Uh, hit this man for four. We're going to hit him for one, sells for one, hit him for 12, and end our turn there. We've got four shield. Uh, okay, we're doing all right. We're blocking up. Now he's gonna do a twofer, and another twofer. Just really, really bad. I'm getting like a lot of, getting four healing blocked, which is shit. Um, can enhance this die to 10, 
which is insane. We're going to fix this guy. Uh, so we're having a bunch blocked from us, though. I'm going to hit myself with the 10. Hit him with the rest. End it there. He's going to do four. And then two more of that shit to me. God, this is annoying. I am getting hurt here. He's doing two more misty shit on me. Oh, brother. Might have been bad to use the 10 on myself last turn. Oh, I see. So we want to change this die into one. And then we want to enhance it. To 11. So now we're doing 5. 11. Oh, we still had another 11, too. We beat the boss! I actually beat the boss. First try. I won the demo. I got a new Oracle unlocked. He looks epic. It's like a hammerhead shark with a hammer. I did it. I beat the demo. I, s I started to understand what was happening. Um, the art's really good. The art style, art direction, all that is really good. Um, audio design is good. It is a game. If you like uh, turn-based, sort of roguelike deck build-ish, but with dice. Um, it kind of felt like it was missing like something. I'm not really sure what it was, but I do like it. It's got a lot of depth to it. It's just there's also a lot kind of coming at you. But that was a look at Astria Six-Sided Oracles. It says it is uh, 2023, that's all they say. Release date 2023. The game, pretty cool, I gotta say, you know. I've definitely seen worse. It's fun, it's a cool dice game. It's got a lot of like mechanics going on. Thinking about like healing yourself or damaging them, that sort of thing. Pretty cool. If you like uh, that kind of a game, definitely check it out. Not bad, that's, that's for sure. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Let me know down below what you thought of Astria, the six-sided oracle. And uh, if you like the game, check it out on Steam. Hit it with a wish list. Thank you. Bye-bye.